by the mid-19th century, explosive shells were becoming more and more popular on the war front, and this caused a problem with navies around the world using wooden-hulled ships. The impact from these explosive shells would burn directly through their hulls. In response to this trend, the British and French navies decided to develop armored, steam-powered warships that were basically floating batteries. With the outbreak of the American Civil War, the Union and Confederate navies rushed to build ironclad ships after hearing of the success that the British and French were having. It became a race of sorts to develop the first ironclad ship in America. The Confederates retrofitted the hull of a once sunken Union ship with iron armor four inches thick, transforming it into a squatty, low floating fortress and renaming it the CSS Virginia. To counter the Virginia, the Union built the USS Monitor, an impressive but strange looking vessel with a shallow draft and central rotating gun turret. These two ironclad ships were bound to meet, and that they did on March 9, 1862. The ironclads met in battle for the first time at Hampton Roads, Virginia and this battle became one of the most infamous ironclad battles of the entire Civil War. After four hours, a cannon blast from the Virginia hit the Monitor's pilot house, temporarily blinding the ship's captain. The Virginia was thus allowed to escape to Norfolk, and the Battle of the Ironclads ended in a draw. Two months later, the Virginia was trapped in Norfolk by advancing Union forces, and its Confederate crew blew up the vessel rather than allow it to fall into Union hands. As for the Monitor, it sunk in a storm off the coast of North Carolina. The Union went on to build 50 more Monitor-class ironclads, which were invaluable to combat on rivers and at sea. By the end of the Civil War, the use of wooden ships had all but ceased due to the success of these ironclad ships. The Monitor's remains were found in 1974, resting upside down on the ocean floor in about 235 feet of water depth. When the gun turret was raised from the depths in 2002, two sailors' remains were found inside. Thanks for watching my history clip, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe to catch more in the future.